What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to show you one of the ways that I power level any new character that I have. And one place that I usually go to do this, of course, is in Bankara, right here at these ruins. Now, the Way Shrine, of course, as you can see here on the mini-map, is right next to where you need to be. And once you're here, all you're going to do is go around in a circle around these ruins and uh, kind of farm these spiders. Now, what this does is, if you are new to the game, when you mob farm, when you pretty much aggro a ton of enemies to come to you, at once group them all up and kill them you get a large amount of xp the best to me to do this with is two to three people that way they everything kind of dies quickly you know if there are a lot of people over here you won't get as much xp and if you're by yourself of course at low low level on a new character it will take a little bit longer to kill them but it is definitely possible by yourself if you're over here by yourself just don't aggro as much as you see me aggroing here or all of us aggroing here in the video um, you want to do smaller groups if you're by yourself. If you're with a party of two or three, pull as many spiders as you can to them or as, as you can to you and kill them as quickly as possible. And you're going to rack up a lot of XP. Now you can use this to power level a new character. I have 10 characters in total. I have power leveled all of them except the very first two characters I made, what, four years ago. So everything else has been power leveled. Now, if you're just starting the game, you don't have one character yet to even level 50 or CP 160, I would not recommend doing this until you make another character. This is best to me for power leveling alternate characters, power leveling XP. If you're like already hit 50 and you're trying to get to 160, or if you're already, you know, high enough level to get enlightenment every day, you can come over here and burn through your enlightenment very quickly. Now, some tips you can use. For while you're here, for while you're doing this, that makes it a little bit easier. If you do have ESO Plus, you will get that extra experience bonus, but it is not a necessity. If you have it, it's good. If you don't, it's no big deal. Make sure you do make training gear. I make training gear for all of my new alternate characters, and I make it at level 10. So as soon as I turn level 10, I put it on. I always rank it up to purple. If you cannot make it yourself, you can definitely find someone if you're in a guild or just in an open world that will craft it for you. But make that training gear purple, that way you get more experience, you know, just overall. Make sure it's on every piece that you're wearing on armor and on both of your weapons. I always use a lightning staff because it's easier to aggro things. You know, you can just slap all the skills you need, no matter what class you are, on the bar. It will rank those skill lines up still, but you also can have that lightning staff to aggro. And then whatever else that you need weapon-wise, you can put on your back bar and it will still rank that up also. So just keep that in mind. Just because you're using a lightning staff does not mean you necessarily can't make, be a tank out here running around. Because that's what my character was. I'm, I'm ranking up a necromancer tank. So make sure that you do have that training gear. That is always a, a big, big help. Uh, the next thing I would say is XP scrolls. If you've played for a while, you have tons of XP scrolls like I do. If you have not played for a while and you have some gold, you can go buy XP pots. 50%, 100%, 150%. You can buy those from guild traders. If you have crown gems or crowns, you can buy XP scrolls from the store. What I usually do is I go out buy about 200,000 gold worth. And I know that's a lot, uh, but of course I've been playing for a long time, so I've got a lot of gold. But I buy about 200,000 uh, worth of 150% XP pots. I can come over here and do this in about six hours. So just keep that in mind. If you have 50% XP pots or scrolls on, it's going to take a bit longer. But believe me, it's a lot faster than some of the other methods like people use uh, farming the uh, the dolmens in uh, Alkari Desert. That's way too slow to me because you're not getting the max amount of XP. Over here with training gear on and XP scrolls, you can rank up, like I said, very quickly. With 150%, it usually takes me five to six hours. Now also keep in mind when there's double XP events going on, you can stack scrolls and pots on top of that event that's going on. So then, you know, we have the event in the summer that gives you double XP. We have the uh, Halloween, the witches event that's coming up. Here in October that will give double XP. So if you're wanting to make a new character, you could wait till that event starts. Come over here, pop 150% uh, pot or XP scroll, and probably be done, I would say, in three hours or less. Anyway, guys, if you like this, make sure you hit the like. If you would like to see some other guides of places I like to grind my new characters out, I can make those videos for you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.